the war in Afghanistan began in the shadow of the September 11th attacks. They were carried out by the terrorist group Al-Qaeda, whose leader, Osama bin Laden, was sheltered by the Taliban in Afghanistan. On October 7, 2001, less than a month after the attacks, the United States invaded Afghanistan. These carefully targeted actions are designed to disrupt the use of Afghanistan as a terrorist base of operations and to attack the military capability of the Taliban regime. The Taliban, who follow a hardline form of Islamic fundamentalism, came to power five years earlier with the support of the Pakistani government. While in power in Afghanistan, they banned music, art and education for women. They were soon routed by American forces and retreated to Pakistan or other bordering countries. Then, at the beginning of 2003, US President George Bush decided to invade Iraq and the conflict in Afghanistan was sidelined. Hamid Karzai, a fierce enemy of the Taliban, became Afghanistan's new leader after winning the first democratic election in the country's history. I swear to safeguard Afghanistan's independence, national sovereignty and territorial integrity. However, the Taliban had not disappeared. They fought against the militias of Afghan warlords and formed a resistance. The group amassed billions of dollars by trafficking drugs. In the United States, Barack Obama succeeded George Bush as president and pledged to bring U.S. forces in Afghanistan back home. By 2010, there were 100,000 U.S. troops in Afghanistan, along with 50,000 NATO troops. The world cannot afford the price that will come due if Afghanistan slides back into chaos or al-Qaeda operates unchecked. In May 2011, Osama bin Laden was killed by the U.S. military at his compound in Pakistan. For Washington, this spelled the end of the war and the beginning of withdrawal. NATO troops packed their bags in 2014, but American forces had to stay and support the Afghan army, which lacked resources and training. Meanwhile, the Taliban continued their attacks, with the group active in 70% of Afghan territory. First, foreign armed forces must leave, then peace will be possible. 18 long years of war that came at a heavy price. Of the 775,000 American soldiers stationed in Afghanistan, over 20,000 were injured and more than 2,300 were killed. Afghan forces incurred more than 65,000 fatalities and some 45,000 civilians lost their lives. Afghanistan remains one of the poorest and most corrupt countries in the world.